literally just my basement. <laughs> well, well, well. It's not very often that I get visitors. To what do I owe the pleasure? Mr. Monocle? I see my reputation precedes me. Now then. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, well, it's complicated. Life often is. And now are you going to put these complications into words anytime soon, or are you just wasting my time? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. We're dealing with a villain. <sighs> Indeed you are. What of it? No, no, I mean a different villain, Erebus. Erebus? That's not one I've heard of. Well, he's fairly recent. Uh, anyway, he persuaded a friend of ours to join his side, and we would kind of like to stop that from being a thing. Manipulating one on the side of good. My, 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 that is impressive. But tell me, why should I help you to stop this fellow? Well, uh, he's trying to take over the world. Is he now? Well, that is quite interesting. Then he must be quite serious if he's willing to turn one on your side to his. Yeah, and I think he could succeed. <laughs> Somehow, I doubt it. But I am planning on launching my own campaign to take over the world soon enough, and well, we can't very well have two leaders now, can we? Oh? Uh, is this a soon thing? My plan could take weeks to go into action. Maybe even months? Maybe there's not a plan at all, and I'm just trying to freak you out. Regardless, we can't have some jumpy little upstart taking it from those of us who have been doing it longer. Yes, indeed. Uh, we, we, we think that maybe if we can separate them, Erebus will be weaker and be easier to defeat. Separating a dream team. A subject I know all too well. Really? Let me put it this way. I was an integral part of Gatman and Two Boy separating. Not that it was that difficult, of course. The Gatman was such an idiot that he didn't see what was right in front of him. Let's just say I helped it along. How? When one wants to separate two people, they must create a wedge. A thing that will drive these two people apart. How does that work? Look at it this way. Say you have two rocks that are cemented together. If you try to just pull them apart with brute force, they won't come apart. Now, to pry them apart, you must find a wedge, in this case a chisel, to drive it between them and drive them apart. A force at an angle. So we need to find the wedge to push these two apart. Precisely. Once you find that wedge, it's all too easy. What was Gatman and Two Boy's wedge? <laughs> His arrogance. Gatman was always so sure that he was right, even when he was very wrong. Two boys saw this. I merely made sure that he acted upon it. <laughs> oh, it was something to see those two go after each other. You know, I always said that if I could have gotten to him first before he decided to become a villain, I could have turned him into one of the worst villains out there. Oh, you could have. How do you know? Yeah, it's a long story, something about plutonium and a simulation coming to life. Anyway, you think that the wedge is the most effective way of driving two people apart? I've seen it happen. I know it to be effective. Alright, well, uh, thank you for your help. I look forward to our next encounter. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Ta-ta.